What's up, guys? Uh, for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Lewis. I have the honor and the privilege of being the creative director here at Oasis Church, and I get to work with some really awesome dudes. Uh, I get to work with John Falco, our production director, who you might have seen a couple weeks ago give another video email devotional, and our worship director, Julio Garcia, who did the same a couple months ago. And I love being able to get to work with these guys. They do such a great job, and they're really great, awesome men of God. And Part of my role uh, entails just catalyzing creative thinking uh, as far as our services are concerned, uh, in-service elements, out-of-service elements, and I think a lot of times what tends to happen, and if you're a creative watching this, if you've ever, maybe really, you're like a graphic designer or a video editor, or maybe you're a musician, I think a lot of times the tendency is to, when we try to create, uh, we want this creation, these, these ideas to kind of just happen at a, at a snap of a finger, right? And I think a lot of times uh, our prayer relationship with God kind of works the same way. You know, a lot of times we have the tendency to treat God as a soda machine or a vending machine or uh, a genie in a bottle kind of thing, right? And I don't really think that that's how prayer works or that's how it's intended to be, right? I think a lot of times our prayers go up and they sound a lot like, God, you know, uh, I'm praying for I don't know, a million dollars, or I'm praying, man, maybe the lottery would be good to win this week. And I know that if, if you've ever watched Bruce Almighty, it kind of reminds me of that scene in Bruce Almighty where he prays to win the lottery and everybody when, that prayed to get the lottery wins the lottery at the same time and all this chaos ensues and all this craziness happens. And I think that a lot of times when we don't get the answer to our prayer that we want, you know, we, we kind of want a refund from God, right? Kind of like a vending machine when you put a dollar in and you don't get exactly the thing you want or maybe you didn't get what you wanted at all, nothing came out. You go straight to the person that runs the vending machine and asks for your money back. And I think a lot of times we tend to have that same feeling with God. Man, why God, why didn't you uh, 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 make this happen for me? Or why did you allow this to happen to me, God? And I think that a lot of times what happens is that those unanswered prayers or what we perceive as unanswered prayers make us lose focus on the things that happen or what we do in our daily life or maybe our relationship with God. And I think for me as a creative, it's very easy for me to lose focus when I feel like I'm in a rut. Maybe I have some type of mental block when it comes to uh, the things that I'm trying to ideate or come up with. And when it comes to these these distractions or these these things that make me lose focus. What do I do? What can we do in those times when we're not focusing and we don't have focus anymore? Uh, it's funny because uh, I've been reading a lot lately and which is weird because growing up, I wasn't too big of a reader, but now as an older dude, I kind of read a lot more. And lately in my reading, um, the term, the concept of, of solitude has come up a lot. And it, it, it's one of those things that I've been reading just different things from different places and that word solitude has come up in a few different places and i think jesus modeled that very well if you look there's a few places in the bible where before jesus went to perform great miracles or he would create these things right um there was a moment or a period of rest and solitude where he went by himself before any of these miracles happened you look first in 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 luke 516 says that Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. In Matthew 14, 13, it says that when Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. John 6:15 says that Jesus, knowing that they intended to come and make him king by force, withdrew, there's that word withdrew again, to a mountain by himself. And then in Mark 1 35, he says that very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed now there's a lot that we can gather from this but suffice it to say that it's important that we find these moments where we can have rest and solitude to kind of gather our focus back when we don't have these these moments anymore right i think that uh, especially uh me and even like the guys that i get to work with we have this privilege to work in ministry and um you know in within that that privilege that we have there's a hunger, there's a thirst to see God do things in those around us, whether it be through prayer or whether it be through um, words that we speak to other people or whether it be through the things that we create.
here on a weekly basis. And I think that before we can see those things in other people, we have to first find that within ourselves, right? And the only way, or maybe not the only way, but I think sometimes the best way to do that is to retreat to places where we get quiet, where we have alone time with God, right? Because remember that God ultimately is, is the grand creator. He's created all things, you, me, even the brain that we use to create things here. Uh, God is, is the ultimate creator. So why not spend time with the, the being, the person who created every single thing when it comes to uh, the things that we create in our own lives now? You may ask me, okay, cool. What are some practical ways that we can go about spending time with God, right? I think, you know, we all have cell phones. We all have computers. We all have uh, different distractions that come into our life. And I think that because of those distractions and sometimes they're exciting distractions and sometimes they're really horrible, bad distractions. How do we get away from that? A uh, few simple things. And, and this is something that I actually told the guys the other day when uh, just thinking through some stuff and I, I shot them over an email. A um, couple things that, that might help. First of all, uh, pick a time and place that you want to get by yourself. Uh, I think a lot of times if we don't go into planning things, they don't work, right? The, 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 so the, the saying goes, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail, <laughs> right? So uh, plan some time to spend alone time with God. And it doesn't matter how long it is. Uh, honestly, even 10 minutes is hard for us when we have so many things that get in the way. Um, another thing you can do is just get rid of everything that distracts you, right? Your phone, your TV, your computer. Sometimes it's people that you got to get away from. And just be by yourself, literally yourself. <laughs> and don't let anything else get in your way. Now, when you are by yourself praying, ask God to, to come into your, your, your heart, come into your mind, and, and to give you the things that, that you're praying for. Maybe it's, it's, it's a shift in your mindset to get you what you're, you're going through, right? One of my, um, actually, I have this verse here, and it's one of my, my favorite verses, is uh, Philippians 4, 7. And it says this, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So maybe it's peace that we need to be praying for uh, when we get distracted in these times. When you get distracted in that time by yourself, just keep coming back to that prayer. And I promise you that, you know, our prayers, even though they may not seem like they're answered, uh, they don't go to God in, in, in vain. They don't come back null and void that um, a lot of times what we maybe perceive as an answered prayer, un unanswered prayer is the exact answer that we needed for our prayer, right? So I hope that this blesses you. I hope that this finds you well, and I hope that you have a great rest of the week. Make sure you come to service this weekend. We are wrapping up our series Twisted with Pastor Guy, and it's not going to be a message you want to miss. So love you guys. Hope to see you this weekend. Take care.